Hey. Bye. She got it. Beep. Beep. Be guy. Be. <laughs> What's good, y'all? AMV Media Reviews here, talking about whether or not Chief Keef is a legend. The answer to that question is yes. So we're going to talk about it. Without further ado, let's get on to it. Drill music. Chief Keef did not invent it, but before 2012, 2011, there wasn't really a Chicago scene. No Illinois scene like that. But let's be real. Once Kanye hopped on that I don't like, everything changed. They smile in my face is what I don't like. They steal your whole sound. That's a sound bite. Let's be real. Thousands of eyes flew to Chief Keef after that song came out. When it comes to the I don't like music video, the original, it pretty much changed the game. The way we do music videos nowadays, that grimy, camera shaky, amateur feel, a bunch of dudes showing their guns in the camera, that really started with the don't like video. After all that, it kind of opened a lot of people's eyes to other rappers who if Chief Keef never existed, they probably wouldn't exist. There'll be no Lil Durk, no Bibby, G Herbo, King Louie, Montana 300, 600 Breezy, but these are all just Chicago rappers. Chief Keef definitely paved the way for all of these rappers, bro. And I'll get into who he influenced in a second. Even the content, the way a lot of these new rappers be talking about killing, the guns, a lot of people are doing it, but it's just a different way they're doing it now. And a lot of that comes from the Chicago culture. His influence kind of first started with the people around him. He was one of the only rappers who were successfully able to put on his whole team. Fredo, Lil Reese, Capo, SD, Tato, Ball Out, Blood Money. Chief Keef's fan base was so strong that he could make you a fan of these other rappers. He kind of even introduced a whole slang to America. Like the words ops, gang, squad, thoughts, 30s. People who ain't even from Chicago were using these terms all over the internet. I remember when his mixtape Almighty Soul came out. Everybody was hating on him for it. And I'm not gonna lie. At first, I didn't really like that new style, with him being all leaned out, slurring his words, but now, everybody praises that style. Now, when it comes to Chief Keef's influence on all these new rappers, I'ma just let this play. Chief Keef is part of a generation of Chicago rappers who redefine the Midwest sound with drill music, the trap subgenre known for its gritty beats and grim lyrics. His influence goes beyond the Windy City. In April 2018, Sosa called it out himself, tweeting, do you guys love me for creating Mumble? And if you look at 2018's new wave of artists, he's got a point. I'm not gonna lie, I listen to a lot of like Sosa, like, for yeah. real, for real. I fuck with yeah. Chief Keef heavy. I fuck with Chief Keef. I get a lot of my flow from Chief Keef. He, yeah, he, he got a big influence on the motherfucking rap game, though. Like, all this new new rap shit, nigga. Like, every every artist should be like Chief Keef. Cause, nigga, like, Chief Keef really, like, he done made his start the young nigga bro. shit. He paved his way, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, bro, look, this nigga, this nigga did the hood shit, boom, made niggas want to start doing hood shit, boom, he switched it up, did the auto-tune shit, getting money shit on the Porsche trucks and all that shit, boom, niggas want to start getting Porsche trucks and Audi trucks and shit. Yeah. Next thing you know, boom, he switched it up, started doing his own shit again, going hard, nigga, motherfuckers want to start rapping like this nigga now, he yeah. just, you feel me, so motherfuckers still want to be this nigga, bro, like, he stopped that shit, bro, he, he got a big influence on that. Chief Key, bro, all these new rap niggas, bro, so so. So, so. Yeah, bro. No doubt. He was a big influence on this. I can't even lie to you, nigga. Facts. I fuck with so. That's where Almighty and my name came from. And though Chop was the mastermind behind many of the beats, that Chicago sound has spread around the world. Still pulling up, no messing. Pull up, six, seven, my brothers. Like you seen him twirl, then he drops, nigga. Rob, rob, rob a nigga, shoes, rob a nigga, lace. <laughs>
Steve is only 16, so don't 16. be in inter- Oh, you're not? Uh. Why does everybody say you're only 16 years old? They say what they want to say. How old so are you? So how old are you? 300. Yeah, you're only 17, right? No, nah, hell no. Nah. What? what? What the fuck? That's what I thought. No. 18? I'm 300. <laughs> Chief Key, definitely. I remember that. I remember, like, that's another one, too. I remember, like, they didn't, on the front, I, I had got it. And on the front, it wasn't even really, like, his picture with, like, everybody else. I remember that. Like, I remember that. And I, we was looking through it. He had all the photos, but... Yeah, he definitely influ- influential. Listen a lot of like Chief Keef and shit. Word. Yeah. You love Chief Keef. Yeah. Fuck bro hard. <laughs> That's like who, who I looked up to and shit. I was like, man. If what I was it like, about his shit that you like? Man, just everything. Just like Chief Keef, man. Niggas crazy. Bro was lit. I don't know. It was like a whole different era he came with. Like, it was just like, what the fuck? Bro, it was crazy. You know? What what um you remember what grade you was in when like when that when Chief Keep got like six sixth grade about so before that what did you like before that I was so like, parents uh, I mean your parents were Columbia right so what type of music was they playing was it like nah like I I wouldn't listen to Spanish I like, I be bumping like Fifty Cent shit like that so before that was Fifty yeah it's like oh shit you know I'm um, Ludacris yeah and shit like that when Sosa came out it was like oh it's different. Crazy, yeah. And then you start rapping like, what, like ninth grade, eighth grade, something like that, or ten type shit, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like, that's where the style was from. Was it like based on like that drill shit, like more like yeah. just harder Almost. shit? Yeah. It was like that. And then I'm trying to mix it up with like my own shit. Uh huh. Then it kind of like came out. Did you ever feel like, man, them niggas is like really? Cut? I I said something to you about it on Friday. But like, yo, them dudes is really from a war zone. Like, yeah. whereas like, the shit they be talking about is like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It the, but it's it like, goes down it there. really goes down. I remember uh, Chief Keith was on the Double S L cover, and I, I liked it because he wasn't even there, and he was on the stick, and it was just lit. Cause yo, Sosa had to be on it, you know. So I, I dare y'all to name another rapper outside of like Drake or Ye with their influence on a sound that has influenced a whole bunch of rappers recently to sound like them. I can't because all the rappers sound like each other. I don't know. <laughs> but you agree with him on Keith's on how influential 100%. he is. 100%. That's, that's not to be questioned. Well, I arrest my case. There you have it, folks. Do you think Chief Keith is a legend? Are you a fan of his? Are you not a fan of his? Please let me know in the comments. Again, guys, if you like hip-hop topics, album reviews, song reviews, all that good stuff, please hit that sub button. Like if you can. Share if you can. I'd really appreciate it. Check you guys in the next video. Peace.